Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys just some summertime glam. It's May, I got my braids done and I'm just feeling a little bit more feisty, you know? So I decided to come to you guys and bring you guys this look. I'm using a product that is a game changer for your eyeshadow. If you're interested in learning my new eyeshadow trick as well as a few other things to keep you looking good for the summertime, go ahead and thumbs up this video. Make sure you are subscribed to join the Vanessa Monet family and let's go ahead and get started. So I'm starting with my L'Oreal Infallible Concealer and I do this in every single tutorial, you guys. I just feel like it's a great base for your eyeshadow. It's full coverage and it actually lays on the lids very nicely. I'm then taking some translucent powder. This is the Honey Powder by Laura Mercier. And we're gonna be using the Chocolates Palette by Juvia's Place. And I'm going in with this very light shade, actually. And I'm placing this all over the lids. I'm then going in with the brown in the palette and I'm using this on both eyes as a base color. And it just is so beautiful. The more I blow it out, the nicer it looks. Um, I'm piling it on and then blowing it out. And then I'm going in with the darker shade and I'm, I'm really concentrating this on the crease area and the outer crease just to add drama. I'm then going in with the star of the show and this is the NYX Multitasker. This is the best drugstore eyeshadow primer ever. Okay, and I like to use this to cut any crease or just to apply any shimmer on the lids. So if you're a girl who likes shimmer on the lids, I really do recommend this product. You can get it from Ulta. You can get it from um, anywhere that sells NYX and it's beautiful. I love it so much and it's only a few dollars. They stopped selling it a while ago, but they started selling it again. And you guys, if you don't have this in your kit, and if you like shimmer shadows, you're missing out completely because it is such a great product. And I'm placing it on the eyes. And what you have to do is leave your eyes down and let it dry just a little bit. Because if you put it on wet, your, eyes, your eyeshadow will crumble. So then I'm just placing that eyeshadow from the palette. And I love this because it's not too shimmery. It's actually very subtle. And you know, as I'm getting older, I feel like shimmers are for the young girls you know but when i place this shimmer on the lid on top of that um base it just pops so nicely and it lays so well i think every beginner in makeup should have this it's just absolutely beautiful and then i'm taking the other shade in the palette and i'm going in to close out the crease and to make it make sure it just blends very nicely i wanted to add a little bit of darkness so i'm going to end with my mario master mattes palette and i'm placing that on the outer corners i'm going to put my lashes on so the eyes are done so let's hop into the face for my primer i'm going to use the smashbox photo finish primer i'm interested in a little bit of a glow today and this is the Laura Mercier flawless radiance perfecting foundation as you guys can see I got braids going in the head <laughs> and then I'm gonna go back to this concealer because even though I've like switched to the morphe concealers I like them but something about this screams full coverage really nice for under eyes it doesn't crease as much it's not as drying it's a really pretty concealer so I really like this one this one's a little bright, by the way. This one is in 405. And to add to that concealer, I just like this. This is the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Tan. It probably has the same consistency, but it's a little bit more on the yellow side. So I'm gonna add a little bit of that under the eyes as well. I know I go concealer crazy, but I really like for my under eyes to look really nice. I'll go back in with my brush to kind of finish it out. I just kind of like that to really blend this out underneath. Look how pretty that is already. But one thing I will say is I will recommend the Infallible Concealer. I'm gonna sing a little bit of my concealer mixed in with my, what's this called, my eyeshadow. So I'm just taking a blank brush and kind of just blending it upwards into it. So it has like a seamless blend, you know what I mean? Without it looking too cakey. And then I'll go back in with my foundation brush around the edges and make sure everything's nice and blended. You know, so you really gotta go back and forth in between. And as long as you're like taking your time while doing your makeup, 
um, you can always fix things, you know, if lines aren't straight, if foundation isn't blended out, you can always go back in to blend out your canvas. And that's pretty much the eyes and the face done. This is the LA Girl Concealer in the shade Toast. And this just is so pretty. I like it. I'm not as precise and I don't know. It's okay if you're not as precise. But you can always blend. You can always just blend it out, right? So I don't let that sit at all because I don't want it to stain my skin. So now I just take my beauty sponge, the bottom of it, the booty of it, and I'll just use that to blend. I really just like to add this as a bronzy layer to the skin, especially like during the summer. It's like not too cool not too red either and now I'm just looking for like a blank brush a brush that really doesn't have any product on it and I'll go in with that to kind of blend out my nose I'm not really precise with the nose contour I just really like it to look like there's bronzer there like you know and this brush doesn't have any product on it. So make sure if you're using a brush like this, you can really use anything you want, but I like to use this cause I feel like I have control over it. So before I go ahead and set my under eyes, I do kind of like to just blend out those creases if there are any, but again, if you're using like that infallible concealer or the Tarte Shape Tape, you really don't get that much creasing. So that's a great thing. So check those two out. You can get both of them at Ulta. But this is the Laura Mercier Translucent. I'm only gonna use a little bit because I feel like I've put enough under my eyes. You feel me? Even though I said not a lot, here I am with a lot. I'm just kind of tapping this under the eyes really quickly. With the same colors that I use on top, I'm gonna go in with this shade up here. I wish these palettes really had a mirror so I wouldn't have to do things like this, <laughs> but it's okay. I'm gonna go right under the eyes with a pencil brush. So now I just need to go ahead and bronze. And for that, I've been using the Juvia's Place, the Warrior palette, one shade in the palette only. And it's this color right here. It's just a really pretty shade on me. Um, I, it's really an eyeshadow, but who says you can't use it as a bronzer anyway? You know, if it's safe enough to put on your eyes, it should be safe enough to put on your face as well, right? Before I finish off the face, I do like to finish off with my Fenty foundation powder. I really love this. See how it just blends everything together so my face is nice and set and flawless at the same time. Then I'm going to take my NARS Orgasm Blush because I just feel like it needs blush. Now I'm going to go ahead and set using my Morphe Luminous Spray. Really don't recommend this. I really do recommend the other one. Let me grab it. I really recommend this one, but sometimes I'll go in with both just to get a little bit more security. Then I'll go in with this and I will let that dry down. I'm gonna take my Artist Couture, my Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder, and this one is in the shade Le Bronze. This was a limited edition, so I only use it for like special occasions, right? But all the Artist Couture powders are really, really pretty. On the head, I'll even do it. I'm crazy. So this is The Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. It's literally one of my favorites because it just brings out the little lashes that I do have, you know? I do like to put on mascara after setting spray because sometimes you can get it on your face and that's never a good look, right? All right, so I have to scoot you guys back a bit and I did go ahead and apply this lipstick and this is the MAC. This is the Relentlessly Red Retro Matte Lipstick by MAC. I just felt like it matched my outfit a little bit better. I haven't worn a bullet lipstick in such a long time, so it was only right, honey. 
but yeah this is the finished look I really like it I think it really just complements my braids you feel me and just gives me that summertime vibe I'm really looking for we are currently in May and I just feel like is it just me or is like time just passing by so freaking fast like I cannot keep up I have to zoom you guys out a bit so you guys can see the nails and the dress which I did get for five dollars at H&M and my braids as I said earlier in the video I recently just cut my hair off so I'm completely natural right now I'm trying to figure out what to do with my hair so I, I decided for the summertime I just wear these knotless braids I got them done here at a braid shop in Houston called go fingers up the street from my house it's really really good and affordable the only con is they take forever like I went at 3 and I didn't leave until 9 p.m. hmm I think that's a long time but anywho they're very very long look at that y'all ice cube girlfriend vibes <laughs> in my hair but I really really like it you know it gives me like that grown woman feel and I'm actually channeling like Rihanna I feel like she did this look a couple of years ago and I really really like it what do you guys think let me know in the comments down below but thank you guys for coming and kicking it with me for these few minutes on YouTube I really appreciate you guys but I'm gonna go snap it up for the gram real quick and get a few pictures in and I'll check you guys out in my next one <laughs>